Hi everybody, look who's here with me. It's Sebastian, the crab, and Mrs. Demers, by the sea. Here we are. Thank you for joining us for story time. I have a great story for you about the ocean today. Yeah, it's called Clumsy Crab. Clumsy Crab is the title of the story, and the author's name is Ruth Galloway. The author is the person who writes the book. On the front cover of the book, who do we see? You're right, we see Clumsy Crab. And on the back cover of the book, we see lots of creatures in the ocean. Can you just name a few? Let's get right to our story. Clumsy Crab by Ruth Galloway. Told by Mrs. Demers. Let's take a look. What creatures can you find in this beautiful picture? Can you name just a few? Clumsy Crab by Ruth Galloway. Nipper the crab hated his huge clumsy claws. Snip, snap, clip, clap. No matter how hard he tried, they always got in the way. None of his friends had clumsy claws. He wished he had tickly tentacles like octopus and jellyfish or flippity fins like turtle and the fish. One day Nipper was playing catch the bubble with his friends. Whoa! Nipper slipped and stumbled, tripped and tumbled until he was buried up to his eyes in sand. Turtle came to dig him out. Everyone decided to play hide and seek. Nipper climbed into a big clamshell and pulled it shut. I wonder if anyone's going to find him there. It was the perfect hiding place until... Smash! Nipper's clumsy claws shattered the shell into a hundred, hundreds of tiny pieces. Ouch! Ouch! He cried. Help! Jellyfish picked up the pieces of shell. If I didn't have these clumsy claws, I wouldn't break everything, and I'd be good at hide and seek, said Nipper. Don't worry, Nipper, said the others. We'll hide, and you can go find us. Nipper counted to ten, then set off to find his friends. He scuttled through the sand, and he found turtle. He shuffled under the shells, and he found jellyfish. And he searched up and down and in and out and all around the rocks. But he couldn't find octopus anywhere. Suddenly, everyone heard a cry. Octopus was tangled up tightly in some seaweed. Octopus squirmed and squiggled and wriggled and jiggled. Turtle and jellyfish tried to help but the knots just got tighter and tighter. Then Nipper had an idea. Nipper snipped at the seaweed with his claws. Faster and faster, Nipper danced around the clump of seaweed, snipping and snapping, clipping and clapping. His claws moved quickly, slashing and slicing, shredding and dicing, until the sea was filled with tiny pieces of swirling seaweed. Octopus was finally free. Thank you, Nipper. You're a clever crab. Nipper waved his claws happily. At last he knew how useful his claws could be. The end. Well, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed story time with Mrs. Demers and Sebastian down by the sea. Until we meet again next time, keep reading.